Hello, welcome back, and today I have another redstone project in Minecraft to show you. This is a customizable beacon, and first I'm going to show you how it works, and then I'll go over the redstone back here. So, this is the control panel. It's got red, yellow, and blue, and there are different signs to adjust each color. So we can subtract, add, or reset each color. So we can add red, add yellow, and add blue to the beacon color. And each of these can be incremented up to a strength of 15, which means that there are 15 stained glass blocks of that color above the beacon. And the reset button in the middle just sets it back to zero. We can mix the colors also as much as we want. For example, I can put two red and one yellow and make a light orange. Or I can put together red and blue and make purple. So now I've shown you how it works, uh, I'm going to go over the redstone back here. So I started this project I think over a year ago, and that's why we're still using uh, old-fashioned redstone block uh, clocks instead of just putting these, um, putting the command blocks on repeat. Um, so what we have here is three scoreboards, one for each color. So if I go slash scoreboard, uh, objectives, set display, sidebar, uh, like blue is blue strength, and right now that's set to one. We can increase it all the way up to 15. And so, what these command blocks over here do, well these are the clock, uh, both of these are two different redstone clocks. Then these six, uh, and here detect. Uh, on this side, if it goes um, below zero for each of the colors, so if we get ne a value of negative one for any of these three scoreboards, uh, it'll be set back to zero. Wait with these here and the comparator outputs a signal if they dip below zero. Uh, and then on the other side over here, we have the opposite. If they get above 15, so if they get to 16, it's going to output a signal to this comparator and set it back to 15. And if you really like spam the signs um, really fast, then you can override that because uh, comparators are kind of slow. But for the most part, it works pretty well if you're only adding one at a time. Then back here we have uh, another section, a larger section of command blocks. And so what these do is they detect different values from the scoreboard. So this is detecting yellow value of 1, 2, and so on down the line, all the way up to 15. These will put a comparator signal into the command block in front of them, which will set a stained glass block at the specific coordinate for that value of that color. And that will also uh, deactivate a redstone torch. So if that turns off, then it's going to set that to air. And so what these repeaters do is uh, say that if, uh, if these are all turned on and then off, so you have like a value of 15 and then you reset it, it's going to come, the signal is going to come all the way from down here, activate all these torches, and reset all the blocks of stained glass to air blocks, and erase that color. And then we've also got the same thing for all the blues here, and underneath them, uh, if I can reach here, the reds. So there are several thousand different combinations you can make. However, it's a little bit limited due to the way beacons work because uh, you'll see if I start adding blue on, as we add more and more, it has less of an effect just because you can, um, you're adding more and so the difference is less noticeable because there's already more on there. Uh, and also, it appears to me that the the stained glass blocks that are above uh, others, the ones at the top, take precedence. So since uh, yellow and blue are closer to the top, 
we need more red to even out the yellow if we're making orange. To make an even orange, we need like three red and one yellow uh, instead of one of each, just because yellow uh, there's, it has more of a weight, more of an effect on the color of the beacon than red because it's closer to the top. But I think it's a pretty cool proof of concept. Uh, it turned out pretty well. And uh, I think it could be useful for some different kinds of projects. So I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.